Hey guys, welcome to July. It's so exciting, we're already at July. We're halfway done, we're halfway to $1,000 and hopefully health, which is just so exciting for everyone. Today we're gonna to talk about July's personal goal. The personal goal for July is to not eat sugar. So for the whole month of July, the task is every day, resist those sugar cravings. Some of you may find this really difficult for the first couple weeks you do get kind of addicted to sugar. It is something that gives you a rush. It's something that makes you maybe a little happy if you're one of those people who loves chocolate. Sugar is a substance that's processed through your body exactly, exactly like alcohol. There's only one difference. It doesn't get processed through your brain. It doesn't get you drunk. But it still gives you that beer belly. It still gives you weight around your midsection. It's really just a thing to be avoided. And if we can break that cycle of being addicted to sugar, we can do huge things for our health. Not only will we stop gaining weight in the places we definitely don't want it, we'll also be free from the $1.67 soda every day and free from the caffeine and the increased levels of sugar in our bloodstream, which can lead to things like diabetes. So clearly we need to avoid this stuff. And if we can last a month, we can break that cycle of addiction and you won't even want it anymore. Like I have this Coke sitting here and I have no interest in it because it just if I took a sip of it, I would think it tasted disgusting. Because if you think about it, it's a weird brown liquid that you're putting in your body and it's not doing nothing for you. This Coke has 65 grams of sugar. In this, 20 ounces. 65 grams. Can you believe that? Can you imagine sitting down and just eating 65 grams of sugar? I can't imagine that. Um, and to demonstrate what actually 65 grams looks like, I've got some regular sugar here and we're gonna figure it out. Now this was a five pound bag of sugar that we had in our pantry and it's been there a couple years now because uh, as a family we decided to stop eating sugar uh, around January last year. Um, so this hasn't been used in a while, but it boasts on the cover 15 calories per teaspoon. Isn't that exciting? What a low number. But a teaspoon of sugar? Have you ever baked? Do you use a teaspoon of sugar? No, you use two cups, four cups. So this is just branding that is not helping us in the least. Now, I'm gonna put 65 grams of sugar in this drinking glass. 65 grams of sugar turns out to be 16.25 teaspoons of sugar. So I'm gonna put 16 and a quarter teaspoons into this glass here. And uh, we'll see if we wanna sit down to eat it. I don't think so. Can you see that? That is what you're just pouring down your throat whenever you drink a soda. That, um, I don't know about you, but that kind of disgusts me and I would really never, never want to put that in my mouth again. So for July, try not to do it. Every day say, I'm not going to eat sugar today. And the, the more and more days you rack up together saying that, the less you're going to want it. I promise you, I've been through it, I know how it works. You are not gonna want it after two weeks and the, less, the rest of the month is gonna be a breeze. And for a community goal, please just share this with your family, with your friends. Um, if you sit down to lunch with your friends and they're ordering Cokes, just say, hey, you know how much sugar's in that? I know they're gonna think you're annoying for the first part, but when they start losing belly fat and they start feeling better, they're gonna thank you. So I'll uh, see you on the Facebook page and I'm very excited to keep going. Bye.